Never trust, always verify. That's the principle behind Zero Trust, a cybersecurity model and one of the biggest themes at RSA this year. It's the strictest approach to security and assumes that every actor is malicious, giving access only on a real-time, as-need basis. This idea of Zero Trust is being able to create security from your device all the way to where you're going, where you don't even have to care about where it goes in between. Security experts say that the concept will play a critical role in the new 5G landscape that will lead to more connected devices from cars to homes, but also more security dangers like turning those devices into weapons. RSA participants say that a potential ban on Chinese equipment makers like Huawei and ZTE won't keep America's 5G landscape safe. Instead, they say the zero trust approach should act as an overlay on 5G infrastructure. Deirdre Bose is at the RSA Cybersecurity Conference in San Francisco. Deirdre, I don't understand how you can do any business based on zero trust, even though I like the idea of that level of protection. <laughs> It is sort of the strictest interpretation of security, but what's existed in the past has been this castle and moat mental mentality, whereas you have certain people within a perimeter that have access. And the whole argument as it relates to Huawei and ZTE and some of the Chinese carriers is that they can build the networks, even if they don't build them in the U.S., they're going to be building them elsewhere in the world. And if you don't have that zero trust application, hmm. you're not going to be able to protect that data. So it is very strict, but things like biometrics and a lot of the topics being discussed here are meant to make it easier to implement that concept. Yeah, I, you know, even if you th we were using American-made equipment or, you know, something from Europe, being able to be assured that people aren't hacking our cars and everything, it's going to be a huge topic. Deirdre, thanks.